Hey guys, welcome to my YouTube channel, Dave D Fishing. So we're doing a 10 minute escapes video here. So we're gonna be gonna be trying this fiberglass pole, one piece pole, it's a smelt rod. Um, I've seen a lot of people down south use this type of pole to go fishing for panfish. So we're gonna give it a try. So um, believe it or not, 50 pound Dacron on here, that's what the rod comes with, fiberglass, Old school looking pole. I forget how old this thing is. I don't even know at this point. Um, I like the feel of the fiberglass pole. It's pretty sensitive and whips those lighter baits out a little bit easier. So we're gonna see if we can get some little white or better sized white perch over here. Um, this is a little nameless salt pond that I found on Google Maps. So tide has come up. I'm not sure with the tide, as far as white perch, how, how it goes with them, but we're gonna see how it goes and see if we can learn something. I do. I saw actually some white perch jumping against the reeds just behind you. They're tucked up against the reeds grabbing little tiny grass shrimp, mud minnows, really anything they can fit in their mouths that they can catch. Um, they're pretty aggressive fish. They're very similar to striped bass. The body structure is really the same. These white perch stay in the area pretty much through the winter, which is pretty cool. So you have a chance to catch them year round if you want. It's only about a foot and a half, two feet. So with the current in here, I'm just gonna let the shrimp sink down Maybe I'll give it maybe 10 seconds or so, lift it up and keep tossing it back. Um, see if we can't get something to bite. I'm gonna try to avoid getting stuck in all these weeds. So, all right, let's get fishing. Okay guys, so let me show you the rig I'm using very quickly. Obviously using my fiberglass pole, same as a cane pole. Um, 50 pound Dacron. You now it seems like overkill. A little snap on there. And this is 12 pound fluorocarbon. I have a dropper loop right about here that's all messed up right now because I already caught a couple fish. And that goes to a surgeon's loop. And those are looped with pre-tied Aberdeen hooks. They're size eight and got little grass shrimp on there and that's it. All right, so I have about 10 feet of line out right now. Um, that's as much as I feel comfortable with. So when I do catch a fish, I can sort of flip them up and take them off. There's no reeling, so I don't want to be messing around with that. So to toss this thing out there, they're hanging close to the weeds and this general, there's a little ditch right there. So I just toss it behind me and chuck it out. That is it. And then you're just watching for the line to sort of shoot out. Or um, if it's directly underneath you, you're just watching for the um, rod tip to obviously get a bite. Oh. That was a fish. So I don't I don't see people fishing for a white perch with um, bamboo poles or cane poles or fiberglass poles like I'm using. So I figured I'd give it a try. I see people down south using cane poles and stuff for panfish, so I thought I'd give it a try. And I thought it'd be cool because this is um, salt water right now. The tide's in. You never know what you never know what you'll get in a spot like this. So I'm I'm trying not to let the bait drift too far down to my right because there's a it's only about maybe a foot and a half here. So I don't want the rigs and stuff getting tangled in the weeds. So I'm just giving it enough time for the shrimp to sort of fall down a little bit. Whoop, oh, that was a bite. Oh, there's a bite. Ooh. Nice little salty. All right, put him in the bucket. We're gonna continue on. Yeah, see the cool thing with this fiberglass pole, same thing as a cane pole, um, is that I don't have to readjust the length of the line. I could just keep using the same length over and over and over. Oh, there's one. Very good. It's picturesque. Oh, 
Ooh. Oh, there's one. Ooh, it's actually a nice one. No, no, it's not. Just a little baby. Yeah, lots of life in this little pond right here. You got swans, you got all kinds of ducks over there. You got mullet jumping. You got all kinds of bubbles coming up from the bottom. So I'm not sure if those are like clams or crabs scooting around. Ooh. Ooh, he's a fighter. Ooh, what is white perch? That's a good one right there. Scrappy little guy. It's not that big, but fun little fish to catch. I never caught white perch on a cane pole or a fiberglass pole before, so something diff something different. Yeah, so you just keep, lift up your rod, just like this, and the fish should pretty much fall right in front of you, within arm's reach. Yeah, it's, he's a little small, I'm gonna toss him back. Um, yeah, and you just pop him off, rebate, and if you're lucky enough, you already have bait still left on there, and you just toss it back out, that's it. Oh, ooh, that's a better one. Oh, oh, nice. That's definitely my biggest cane puller right there. Ooh, nice. It's probably like a 10 inch fish or so. Ooh, and I still got my bait. Look at that. That right there is a very nice white perch. They actually give a good fight in these little fiberglass rods. They get really Get a lot of nostalgia using these things, really cool. But he's gonna be a fish sandwich. I love this fishing though, it's really fun. I'm not fishing more than, um, I'm not fishing more than 10 feet in front of me and catching dinner, so good fun. All right. So I might get one more and start heading off. I'm tired, I had, um, we're ahead work until midnight. You get my beauty sleep. Ooh. Mm. Reach the end of the video, I caught my last little white perch. I caught three dinner sized ones, so I'm gonna call it quits. And I had fun fishing with fishing a new method in a salt pond using a nine foot fiberglass pole. Similar setup to a bamboo pole. I just like the fiberglass better. I like the feel of it. Um, and it's a little more durable. So yeah, nice little pond. Um, didn't get anything besides these white perch. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video or at least found it entertaining. And if you did, please like and subscribe and please comment if you have anything to say. I wanna hear from you guys. No one comments on any of my videos, I don't know why, even some of them with thousands of um, thousands of views and likes and that type of thing. So, but um, all right, guys, thank you.